AAC is a lightweight precast cellular concrete, eco-friendly building material, suitable for producing concrete masonry units like a blocks. It is composed of a quartz sand, Kansai gypsum, lime, portal cement, water and aluminum powder. AC products are cured under heat and pressure in its autoclave. Developed in the mid of 1920s, simultaneously provides structure, insulation and a fire and a mold resistance. Form include blocks, wall panels, floor and a roof panels, cladding panels and lintels. AC is a highly durable material that can last for many years without requiring maintenance. It is also an excellent insulator that can help reduce energy costs by keeping buildings cool in the summer and the warm in the winter. Additionally, AAC is resistant to fire and a mold, making it a safe choice for construction. AAC products can be used in almost all construction, such as the industrial buildings, residential houses, apartment buildings and townhouses. Lightweight concrete is used, for example, for exterior and interior walls, firewalls, wet room walls, diffusion open terminal insulation boards, intermediate floors, upper floors, stairs, opening crossing, beams and pillars. Exterior construction requires some types of applied finish, such as a polymer modified stucco or plaster compound to guard against the elements, or cover with a singing materials such as a nature of manufacturing stone, vanier bricks, metal and a vinyl siding. In addition to their quick and easy installation, AC materials can be eroded, sanded or cut to size on site using a hand saw and a standard power tools with a carbon steel cutters. AC is a concrete based material used for both exterior and interior construction. One of its advantages is a quick and easy installation because the material can be eroded, sanded or cut to size on site using a hand saw and a standard power tools with a carbon steel cutters. AC is well suited for the high-rise buildings and those with high temperature variations. Due to its lower density, high-rise buildings constructed using AC require less steel and concrete for structural members. The mortar needed for laying AC blocks is reduced due to the lower number of joints. Similarly, less material is required for ending, due to the dimensional accuracy of AC. The increased thermal efficiency of AC makes it suitable for use in areas with extreme temperatures, as it eliminates the need for separate materials for construction and isolation, leading for the vast reconstruction and the cost savings. Even though regular cement mortar can be used, most of the buildings erected with AAC materials use thin bed mortar in a thickness around 3.2 mm, depending on the national building codes. AC materials can be coated with a stucco or a plaster compound to guard against the elements, or covered with ascending materials such as a brick or a vinyl. Unlike most other concrete applications, AC is produced using an aggregate larger than the sand. Quartz sand, silicon and gypsum, lime, and cement with a water are used in the building agent. Aluminum powder is used at the rate of 0.05% to 0.08% by volume. In some countries, like India and China, fly ash generated from coal fire power plants and having 50 to 65% silica content is used as an aggregate.
when AACs are mixed in a casting forms. Several chemicals reactions take place to give AAC in a light way. And thermal properties. Aluminum powder reacts with a calcium hydroxide and water to form hydrogen. The hydrogen gas foams and it doubles the volume of the raw mix creating gas bubbles up to 3 mm in diameter. It has been described in having bubbles inside, like a chocolate aerobar. At the end of the foaming process, the hydrogen escapes into the atmosphere and it's replaced by the air. When the forms are removed from the material, it is solid but still soft. It is then cut into either blocks or the panels, and placed in auto plate chambers for 12 hours. During this steam pressure hardening process, when the temperature reaches 190 degrees Celsius, and the pressure reaches 800 to 1200 kPa, quartz sand reacts with a calcium hydroxide to form calcium silicate hydroxide, which gives AC its high strain and other unique properties. Because of the relatively low temperature used, AC blocks are not considered to be fire bricks but a lightweight concrete masonry unit. After the autoclaving process, the material is ready for immediate use on the construction site. Depending on the density, up to 80% of the volume of the AC block is in the air. AC low density also occurs for its low structural compression strain. It can carry loads up to 800,000 kPa, approximately 50% of the compressive strength of the regular concrete. In 1978, the first AAC material factory, the LCC Cyperex Lightweight Construction Company, was opened in the Persian Gulf state of the Saudi Arabia, supplying Gulf Cooperation Council countries with irradiated blocks and panels. Since the 1980s, there has been a worldwide increase in the use of the AAC materials. Now production plants are built in Australia, Bahrain, China, Eastern Europe, India and the United States. AC is increasingly used worldwide by developers. The high resources efficiency of autoclave aerated concrete ensures its low environmental impact at all stages of its life cycle, from raw material processing to the disposal of aerated concrete waste. Due to continuous improvement of efficiency, the production of aerated concrete blocks requires relatively little raw materials per cubic meters of product and it's five times less than a production of other building's materials. There is no loss of the raw material in the production process, and all production waste is returned to the production cycle. Production of irritated concrete requires less energy than for all other machinery products, thereby reducing the use of the fossil fuels and associated carbon dioxide emissions. The curing process also saves energy, as the steam curing takes place in relatively low temperatures and a hot steam generated in autoclaves if refusing submit batches.